Here in Atlanta for Big South Conference Media Day, my name is Nick Pierce, joined by Flames quarterback Josh Woodrum. And the preseason rankings are out. The Liberty Flames picked to finish second in the preseason standings. And Josh, we talked a little bit about it yesterday. Preseason rankings don't matter, but does the uh, second seed give you a little bit more motivation heading into this year? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, just like last year, we were picked to finish second again, ended up winning the conference. So um, just like you said, you know, preseason doesn't really mean anything to us. Postseason is what matters. I know that you personally are focused on having a big year this year after you know not playing the last two regular season games last year with the injury. How determined are you to come back and play this full season your last? Uh, I've never been more determined in my life. Um, you know, not being able to play those last two conference games, you know, I felt like I was doing a really good job building a resume to you know be the conference player of the year, and then not being able to play in those two conference games kind of eliminated me from even the discussion because I didn't even play almost half the conference games. So uh, it's, it's been big. This offseason has been big for me. Um, it's pushed me way harder than I ever thought I could go. And um, I'm expecting a really big season this year. We have so many weapons on offense and a, a great defense. So, um, you know, our team, more importantly, is going to be really good this season. Let's talk about some of the weapons on offense that you guys have. I mean, Dakota Kelly, you've obviously got Petey Peterson back, but you know, guys like Dakota and some of the others that uh, haven't been at the forefront of the offense here, what can we expect out of those guys this year? Uh, plays. I know one thing that um, is going to really surprise you guys this year is Zach Parker is going to do some good things for us. Kyle Carrington is going to do some really good things for us. He redshirted last year. So uh, we got, we got a, a bunch of good weapons, and um, we have a lot of them. That's the good thing. So. And you never know with, with injuries, just like me happened last year, Stefan needed to step up. If we have an injury, we will have guys to step up and we'll be able to make plays just like Petey, just like Dante, and just like Gabe did last year. So we're excited. I'm excited. It's going to be a great season. And it's going to be great throwing to those guys. And you got Des Rice coming back in the backfield as well now, a two-headed monster with him and Abner. Oh, yeah, definitely. That was kind of me and uh, Dez's <laughs> title was a two-headed monster. But you know, I like it better on them because now I can just hand it off to either one of them and know they're going to do a positive gain. You know, it seems like you don't really spend a whole lot of time on your back in the backfield. The offensive line does a great job protecting you. How big is that for your confidence knowing that, hey, I've got, I've got time to do what I need to do? Yeah, Coach Widener does a great job getting those guys ready. You know, every year I've been the starter, I've had a different offensive line, a different unit. So uh, he does a great job preparing those guys and making sure they know exactly what to expect during the games so that they don't have to be picking me off my back. They can just be giving me a high five after I throw a touchdown pass. So it's good. I have a lot of confidence in them. And um, we got a bunch of great guys coming back. Max Somers, uh, Burgess, Tanner Hartman got a lot of uh, experience last year. And then uh, Mike Henderman, Lucas Holder, and Dante Duff are going to step up this year and make some big plays for us. Yeah, you mentioned Summer and Burgess, those guys preseason all-conference selections, and then Abner as well. But uh, with the <clears throat> excuse me, the depth now in the running game, are you expecting to have to run the ball as much as you did last year? Do you want to run the ball that much again? Uh, you know, we're always going to be a 50-50 team. I would like to say I hope we throw a little more just because I'm a quarterback, but uh, you got to have a, a good balance of, of pass and run because if you're strictly a passing team, all they're going to do is drop eight people and it's going to have a hard time. You're gonna, just going to be checking down uh, the ball the whole time. But if you have a consistent run game, then your play-action game works too. So um, I think we're going to have a great balance this year. I think we got a bunch of guys that can run the ball and we got a bunch of guys that can catch the ball and run after. So uh, it's going to be exciting. Then especially, you know, me, I'm going to be a four-year starting quarterback. So I'm hoping that the coaches give me a lot more freedom than they did last year, which was even more than my sophomore year. So it's going to be good. We've got a lot of exciting players and it's going to be a great year. How do you approach camp now? Because you mentioned fourth-year starting quarterback. How do you approach camp heading into your senior year as opposed to how you have in years past? Is it any different? Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot different personally. You know, this is going to be my last camp here. Um, you know, God, God forbid an injury or something like Desmond, how he was came back for another year. But um, this will be my last camp. Me and Chima and PD and DJ, all of them are going to go out with a bang. And um, I think you just got to stay focused. And in my opinion, I could have a perfect practice every single day. So if I go in and I have a bad practice, I'm not satisfied. I'm not, I'm not going to be satisfied until I can complete every single pass during team periods and during seven on seven that I know I can. You know, sometimes you're going to have something that happens where, you know, I got to throw it away or I got to, you know, just check it down and someone drops drops a pass. But um, my goal is to have a perfect practice because I know physically I can do it and mentally I can do it. And that's, that's going to be my goal the whole camp. What's the experience been like for you down here this week? First time in Atlanta with Media Day and then last night seeing all the uh, highlight footage on the big screen at the College Football Hall of Fame. Did it get you pumped up? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I was talking to Chima mm -hmm. earlier and uh, I'm ready to play some football now. You know, we've had a long summer, great summer. It's been uh, it's been really good down in the weight room. We've um, a lot of guys have grown up, matured. A lot of guys have gotten bigger, faster, stronger. So 
I'm really excited to um, see what these guys bring to the table in camp. You know, we all, we obviously know who's going to bring it in camp. You know, me, Chima, PD, Dez, DJ, all those guys. We all know that we're going to bring it to camp. But I'm excited to see, you know, we need to find a safety. You know, without Jacob Hagan and Gary Sampson, we lost a ton of experience in the back end. So who's going to step up? Is it going to be Avery James or uh, Cam Jackson, Corbin Jackson, uh, Jordan Williams? You know, who's it going to be? And then the defensive line, you know, we're trying to replace Toby Onichi. You know, who's going to be that guy? Is it going to be Irwin DeSources? Is it going to be Devontae Brown? You know, who's going to step up and, um, you know, make make camp fun to watch? Because I'm not always going to be on the field. You know, i got to be on the sideline sometime watching Stefan or watching Bo Swanson be in there. So uh, I'll be watching the defense and seeing how they're improving because it's not just about the offense. You know, I think you saw um, two years ago when we played ODU and Coastal that it can't all be the offense and it can't all be the defense just like in uh, ODU. So it has to be a complete game for us to have success. Saw you hanging out over at the social media hangout area. Uh, could you please uh, repeat that rendition of Pocket Full of Sunshine for us? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. But uh, <laughs> that was a pretty long two-minute drill. It lasted it about five minutes. I think there were a lot of timeouts and uh, balls that got uh, out of bounds. So <laughs> that was good, though. It was good fun, good uh, good time being down here. Yeah, it really has been. Josh, appreciate the time. Good luck coming up here in fall camp, all right? All right, thank you.